Piramal Enterprises today launched the one of its kind Museum of Art to showcase the history of modern art through their private collection. Ruchi Deshpande caught up with Swati Piramal, Vice Chairman at uh, Piramal Enterprises and uh, began by asking her about the museum. Listen in. This is a Piramal Art Museum. It's the first private art museum in the city of Mumbai. It's not a gallery because it doesn't sell anything. It displays, uh, it's a gallery of collections or a museum of collections where uh, today it's a Piramal art collection being shown. Tomorrow or in a few months we'd like to do other art collectors and then join in together to share this art for, with Mumbai citizens. So, um, Mrs. Piramal, who, was, who are or who is your uh, favorite artist, so to speak? So one of them is right behind me, is uh, Akbar Padamsi. I watched him paint this painting and he would show us the fire and the mountains and you know the deep colors which which seemed to glow every time he added a layer of paint so I've gone to his house talked to him for hours uh, watched him paint it is he is really such a fantastic human being a great philosopher and of course an artist um, Mr. Spiramal, how do you look at art as an asset so actually I think art should not be looked only as an asset, it is of course, but to look at it uh, as something to preserve for future generations, for something to be left for posterity like a legacy. So that's what uh, our aim is, that we must preserve uh, art. We say that a kaleja hai. It's a common perception that you need to be wealthy or rich or really well off in order to own pieces of art. So what do you have to say to that? And how does a beginner get started with the process of collecting art? So I bought a painting on my first anniversary for 5,000 rupees. And it turned out to be a Prabhakar Barve. It was so beautiful, of course, more valuable now. But that time, it was for the fun of collecting the fun of beauty, there are lots of young talented artists. Buy what you like and then keep it. I'm sure that artists will do well in life and its investment will increase. But we never bought, you know, just for, for, the, for the money. We really bought it for its beauty, for its uh, uh, cultural inflection, so to speak. And it touched our hearts, that's why we bought a painting. 